Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Just in at elevatorbooks.com is Magnetic Levitation from Springer Publishing. This book provides a comprehensive overview of magnetic levitation technologies from its fundamental principles through state-of-the-art applications. Maglev technology is believed to be a diverse and green technology that will be applied not only in rail transportation, but also in other fields such as ropeless high-speed elevators. For more information and to order your copy, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for February 1st, 2017. In today's news, ECS Corporation hires two key managers, plans are competing to replace Chicago's Thompson Center, and a redevelopment of the LA Times complex includes towers. ECS Corporation, headquartered in Broadview, Illinois, has hired Tony DeLegge as operations manager and Kathy Hyatt as marketing manager. DeLegge joins ECS with experience including working for Adams Elevator Equipment Company, most recently as senior support specialist. He then served as district buyer for ThyssenKrupp before being transferred to a service operations role in downtown Chicago. He holds an associate's degree in applied science and electronics from DeFry University. Hyatt rejoins ECS with a sales and marketing background that includes handling international sales for Adams, customer relations for Formula Systems, and marketing for ECS. She left the industry in 2011 to further her marketing career. She has a BA from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and an MBA from Northern Illinois University. The Chicago Tribune reports there are dueling plans in Chicago to replace the state-owned, helmet yawn design James R. Thompson Center at The Loop, one of which involves preserving the center and adding a 1,340-foot-tall residential hotel tower, and the other involving demolishing it to make way for a 1,700-foot-tall mixed-use building designed by Aidan Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, that would be the tallest in Chicago, surpassing the 1,450-foot-tall Willis Tower. Built 32 years ago, the Thompson Center, with its distinct soaring atrium, serves as a state office building and transportation hub. State officials will decide what to do with the property, which could be sold to an outside developer. The Architects newspaper reports plans for redevelopment of the LA Times headquarters in downtown Los Angeles includes building multiple towers. The plan includes 37 and 53 story residential towers designed by LA based AC Martin and developed by Canadian company Omni Group. Tribune Media Company is also planning to build a 30 story mixed use tower designed by Gensler connected to the existing LA Times building by indoor and outdoor retail. The original Art Deco Times headquarters would be preserved, while a 1970s edition designed by William Pereira would be demolished. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com, and for information on how to reach the elevator and escalator market in India, visit elevatorworldindia.com.